What's up, guys? It's music producer T Customs, CEO of T Customs Productions LLC, and I'm very excited to bring you guys my brand new Vox Sample Kit Volume 1. This kit contains 100 soul and funk vocal samples. Each were personally picked and processed by me, and many of these sounds I've used in my own production catalog. These sounds are great for hip hop, boom bap, East Coast style beats, really any authentic hip hop sound. These will complement that production style very well. All the samples are high quality WAV files and are compatible with virtually any software or hardware device you're using to make your beats, whether it's Free Loops, MPC, Ableton, Machine, etc., etc. So, what I want to do is demo some of the sounds and kind of give you some examples of ways you can incorporate these into your own production. So what I have open is a session from a recent beat I released on my website entitled City of Darkness. In this track I use five of the vocal samples that are included in this kit and I kind of want to explain some of the different ways you can use these sounds. In the hook of this track I use Vox 34. Hey! Vox 38. Mm, mm, mm. And Vox 57. Now that's how they'll sound when you get the kit. What I did for this particular beat is also experimented with panning, delay, and transposing the samples. I'm going to play the hook through so you can hear how the samples were used, and then I'll break down what additional processing I did to each one. So you can probably notice the delay that was added to each sample, just to kind of fill in the extra space. So for the first sound, Vox 38, you can notice that there are actually three distinct pieces of audio in that sample, but I only used the first part. Also added a basic delay as well as panned it slightly left so it was so well in the mix. <laughs> uh, for the second Vox sample, 57, also added basic delay and panned it slightly as well. Now for the third sound, Vox 34, I did the pan and delay, but I also manipulated the pitch using the transpose function. The reason I did that is because the vocal sample didn't match the key of my beat. So you can see that I pitched it up plus four half steps. Later in the beat, I used two more vocal stabs, Vox 10, and Vox 66. And here's how they work with the beat. So as you can see, there's a lot you can do with these samples. The beat playing in the outro will also demo some more sounds included in this collection. Uh, if you're interested in this kit, it's available at tcustoms.com. And also feel free to send me any finished beats you've made using these sounds. So that's all I have. Thanks for watching. Peace.